Pakistan. I have never in the history of this ministry seen as many dramatic miracles, exclaimed Marilyn Hickey, recalling the marvelous move of God during her recent miracle healing crusade in Karachi, Pakistan. Jesus healed her. From the very first, this crusade was a testimony of God's might. Marilyn and her team, including her daughter Sarah Bowling, witnessed miracle after miracle. Just 36 hours before the scheduled start, the permit for the stadium was revoked by government officials who objected to the crusade for security reasons. The home front prayer team was able to pray specifically for safe travel, favor with the Pakistani officials, and the granting of a new location. A second location, Karachi's YMCA grounds, was suggested, but officials continued to delay, debating safety issues. An hour after the event was scheduled to begin, the mayor's office still hadn't made a decision. People were gathering, so we went ahead. That afternoon, they brought over the signed permission. Because the grounds had been changed just two days beforehand, the advertising carried the wrong information. Anxious to reach as many unsaved as possible, Marilyn asked for prayer that God would fill the first night with great miracles so the news would spread by word of mouth. Along with staff members, friends, and partners, the more than 2,000 participants of the ministry training school prayed fervently for healings to be released in Pakistan. Because God, Khuda, is going to do awesome things in our daytime sessions. Then what's going to happen at night? We're going to take our bread and we're going to share our lunch with all the sinners that come. Amen. The final evening of the crusade proved to be the largest Christian event ever to be held in Pakistan. It also set a crusade attendance record for Marilyn Hickey Ministries with more than 100,000. When Marilyn stood to speak, the crowd roared its approval. She shared a powerfully anointed message of hope in a God who loves and out of his love provides salvation and healing. In the book of Acts, they healed the sick. Gifts of healing have been given to the church to heal the sick. Because God is the same, Jesus is the same, yesterday, today, and forever. When Sarah spoke, her energetic sermon reverberated throughout the grounds, cutting through discord, uncertainty, and unbelief. Her powerful message of faith had thousands of people standing, leaping, and shouting that Jesus saves and heals. But she met Jesus. And Jesus gave her hope. We believe that the best is ahead for Pakistan and encourage every one of you to continue praying for the outpouring of the Spirit over this wonderful nation.